How many of you are booking your hair appointments online? And when you capture an appointment date and time, do you make an online deposit? Stop. There is an increased amount of crafty scammers who are targeting the hair industry. Talented and even popular hair braiders photos are being copied. These photos are uploaded onto fake websites and or social media pages to deceive you all. Lately, potential customers who are seeking protective hairstyles this summer are being duped. The deposit made online is being taken by these thieves, leaving customers frustrated because the service they requested will not be completed. Take a look at this video. Go on vacation, you might opt to get your hair done first. And for those looking to get braids, watch out. The Better Business Bureau is now getting reports of scams targeting clients who want that style. And they're using real stylist work to do it. News 2's Corey Johnson explains. I'm Portia, the all one diva. She does it all. For the last 10 years, Portia Hensley has braided hair. She got licensed in 2005, shortly after opening her own salon. Divine Innovation 615 in Nashville. I do box braids, I do weaving services, I do feed-ins, I do twists. With summer in full swing, braids are a popular protective style to book. It's not uncommon for clients to get on social media and find braid styles that they liked. These styles can cost hundreds of dollars. In order to book them, it's common practice for a small deposit to be made in order to be placed on the stylist calendar. It's work Portia tells news too. She's found passion in. I feel creative. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm creating something for my client um, that empowers them to go through life and their day feeling good and looking good about themselves. But the braiding booking process is something scammers are now onto. According to the Better Business Bureau of Middle Tennessee, they've gotten reports of bad actors taking pictures from other stylists and posting them to fake social media pages, claiming they can do the work. Then when a potential client goes to book and sends a deposit, they don't find out until their appointment when they never hear from that person that it was actually a scam. It's a legal activity that's impacted Porsche's business this year. I had a client call and say, hey, I'm at the door, and I'm, and I'm like, what door? You know, I'm with a client, and we come to find out that the person actually took their money, took a deposit. It was shocking that they used so much of my stuff that I work hard for, and I feel bad that I couldn't help her. And Portia isn't alone. BBB officials say they've received a few reports of scams involving braids. Unfortunately, social media scams are not new. We see scams ebb and flow every day based on what's going on in the marketplace. There are a few steps you can take to make sure you don't fall victim, including never pay for a service in full before the appointment. Visit the location where the braider claims to work before booking. Verify their work by searching for the stylist online and typing in scam after their name and ask for their braider license number and look them up. Despite a scammer using her pictures, Portia says she's not deterred from continuing to do the work she loves. No, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop what's in store. Corey. The realization of communication with a scammer won't be noticed until it's too late in most occasions. As reporters mentioned, Customers need to check the authenticity of the hairstylist web page or salon page. It's necessary to communicate with the hairstylist before sending them your money. I would make the time to meet with a stylist or braider in person. Then I would book the appointment, give a deposit and obtain a receipt. It's the method used back in the day before all of this technology, when things were quite simpler. At least no one gets fooled and your hair appointment is guaranteed. As stated on the news, the scammer needs to be reported to the Better Business Bureau. Online investigators will need to capture the scammer's IP address and fake websites or social media. A long-term issue is that the scammers have knowledge of the customer's debit, credit cards, and even cash app accounts. At least with a credit card, the company 
tends to return the stolen funds. It's definitely more complicated to have funds returned using a debit card. All of these methods leave customers so vulnerable to having their full name, address, account, and other data used in the future by the scammers. Even a cell phone and or computer IP used to do the transaction will be vulnerable as well or corrupted. Scammers will be targeting different types of services such as different hairstylists, mechanics, home repairs, freelancing, online education, the courses, and to name a few. Unfortunately, many educators and entrepreneurs who design master classes have been ripped off and their hard work displayed on platforms such as Corsica, um, um, Udemy, edX, and others have been taken. Even writers, designers, marketers have showcased their craftsmanship on platforms such as Upwork, Fiverr, Freelance Connect, etc. Easily, scammers are creating fake accounts. Then these imposters are connecting with those entrepreneurs or those educators, previous and even new clients taking their earnings. Scammers are faking the entire course and work packages. We all need to check the service providers thoroughly, their credentials, use strong passwords and additional security measures, and make sure to check the customer reviews. If you don't see any reviews or very few for that individual or company, beware. And if you are a service provider and or an entrepreneur, make sure to obtain a trademark to protect your brand. For example, your company name, logo, slogans. Also, remember that copyrights protect your original work, such as books, an ebook, audio file, course materials, and photos. Now going back to the hair industry, so many scammers are doing the get styled and dash, running out of the salons without paying after getting serviced. Salon owners can protect themselves by verifying client information, getting their full name with a photo and using or checking the legitimate government IDs. Remember, do your research on everyone and every business.